M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the ICOM IC705. So we're looking at our waterfall scope and we know we've got adjustments for things like center and center fix. And we can hold it down and get scroll mode, which is very, which is fun. And we can change how fast it moves by selecting a different step. Great fun. But there's another thing we can do when we're in menu number two. So if we're in menu number one, now this is what you would normally see. We were just on that. So if we go to menu number two, we've got a selection here called REF. Now tap it. I'll just show you that you can speed up the waterfall here. Look. Slow, medium, fast. Yeah. And we can put a marker in as well. But the main point of this video is to show you the RF adjustment. Now, see the way how what we're seeing at the moment. If we just tap the volume button and go to RF gain. Now we can adjust it this way and you can see how we can see the stronger signals a bit easier now but just by changing the RF gain which is which is handy and I do use that but that does um, sort of attenuate everything but we can just attenuate the screen so let's put the RF gain back to its full selection so if we don't want to attenuate the whole radio and there is an attenuator button in let's go functions look preamp here look preamp off there you go anyway let's exit out of that the rf gain is full on now what we can do is go to menu number two press press rf and now we're at minus nine now we can bring that up can you see that we're adjusting it with a large vfo and it's plus 3.0 db we can actually go up so we overload the radio and you might even get a warning that the radio is overloaded. If we go back, we can bring it right down. Now if we forget where we were, we can just hold down the DF, sorry, the DEF button and it puts it back to, to zero where it, where it was originally. We've got some good activity here today. We need to just turn that menu off. Let's put it back how we wanted it. All right, and then exit. And then we can just tune to that. Sounds great. Now, when you change the REF on the screen, it doesn't change the audio at all. Oh, gee, maybe it did a bit. <laughs> anyway. Let's do it with the RF gain. Let's turn that right off. Can you see, we turn that off and we lose everything. Turn it back on. And we, you know, we, we gain everything. Can you see the difference? That noise is a bit annoying. So what I like to do is use the, I do like to use this one. And just while you're here, I'll show you how to add the audio scope that sound is people tuning just for the fun of it so audio scope go hold down the like so go menu audio then hit the m scope I hope you saw that now we've got waterfall and the audio scope here which i think is quite fun and you can change how this looks by hitting the time there choose the one you like they all look good, don't they? Right, well, I hope this helps. The video is actually about the... Let's exit out of this. Let's go menu, scope. The, on menu number two, it's about the REF button on the screen and how it works and the default. 7.3, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're finding this interesting. All the best.